plate separation, how does it affect capacitance? Well, when we graph it out, we see that a larger plate separation gives a smaller capacitance. Okay, why does plate separation have an inverse effect on capacitance? Well, you can see when I make the plates closer together, the bottom charges will have a greater effect on the top charges, so the capacitance gets larger. It's more effective. When I move the plates apart, it becomes less effective. Next, we tested area. As area got larger, capacitance got larger. Okay, the reason this happens is we make a larger area, there's more room to store charges, so you get a larger capacitance. A smaller area gives you less room for charges, so it's a worse capacitor. Okay, dielectric constant. As that gets larger, the capacitance gets larger. It's a linear relationship. Okay, we're going to put our insulator into our capacitor. And when we do that, you'll notice that the insulator starts out with positive and negative charges. As I make a different insulator with a different dielectric constant, you'll notice that these negative charges start separating from the positive charges. So based on the polarity of your material, you can get these charges to separate a lot. So some materials, which are very polar, will have the negative charges separated from the positive charge. And these negative charges will have a great effect on the top plate because they're so close to the top plate. So the larger your dielectric constant, which is an indication of the polarity of your material, the better the capacitor. If your material is not polar at all, then the charges don't separate, and you may as well not have anything in there. It's going to be the same charge as if you had uh, air. Okay, so we looked at how voltage affected capacitance, and it turned out that it did not. The voltage was from the battery, so it turns out it doesn't matter what we hook our capacitor up to, it's always going to have the same capacitance. The capacitance is determined by the factory when they make it. So it depends on the area of the plates, the distance between the plates, the dielectric constant, which goes by the letter K, and the constant, which will never change, which is 8.85 e to the negative 12. Distance is on the bottom because that was inverse. The other factors were linear, so they're up top. Next, we wanted to see what factors affected the charge on the capacitor. And it turns out that it was voltage and the value of the capacitor. A larger voltage gives you more charge, and a larger capacitor also gives you more charge. Okay, so with voltage, we could see that when we have no voltage pushing electrons, we get no charge stored on our capacitor. And then as we increase the voltage, it pushes more and more charges onto the capacitor. So it's a linear relationship. A larger voltage gives you a larger charge. With the capacitor, if I make a stronger capacitor, you'll see the charge going up. Okay, so to find the formula to calculate charge, we realize it depends on voltage and capacitance, and they are both linear relationships. So you just multiply the capacitance times the voltage to figure out how much charge is on the capacitor. Area and electric field. How does area affect electric field? It turns out it doesn't. With voltage, how does that affect electric field? It turns out to be a linear relationship. And finally, how does distance affect electric field? It turns out to be an inverse relationship. Let's see why. Okay, so let's check out area and electric field you can see that when I increase the area, the electric field stays at 150 volts per meter. And the reason is, the lines of the electric field are not getting any closer together. There's less total lines, but the electric field is based on how far apart the lines are, and that doesn't change. When I lower the voltage, however, you can see the lines get farther apart. So more voltage would give you a stronger field, and less voltage would give you a weaker field. Okay, the final factor is plate separation, and as I make the plates closer together, the electric field gets stronger. So let's go see what our formula will look like. Okay, so the formula for electric field is going to be voltage over distance, because we saw that distance was an inverse relationship, and voltage was a linear relationship.